Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI training, I'm just going to show you how to set up LM Studios offline language models so that you're able to leverage open source language models rather than have to rely on chat GPT or anything else that ends up with a paid subscription attached to it. So the way I actually even found out about LM Studio is because I'm setting up AutoGen right now from Microsoft, which is their newly released software to basically allow you to create a digital workforce using multi-agents. So it's a multi-agent framework. And I was trying to see how I can set this up without using OpenAI's API key. Because when I set up AutoGPT, for the tasks that I'm trying to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis, those rates can get pretty high because it is pay as you go and they charge you per usage. So I'm gonna make a video about this on how to connect AutoGen with LM Studio because that's actually how I found out about it. I was curious if I could use this and come to find out on the left hand side where it says local server, they say, if you're using an OpenAI client, set OpenAI to .API underscore base Python or the base URL mode.js properly in your client configuration. This server can be used as a drop in replacement to OpenAI's API, meaning you can use the language models you get from here and just connect it into AutoGen. So you're not paying out the wazoo for every time you have like a certain amount of iterations that your agents are chatting back and forth trying to accomplish the task. So I'm really excited about that. But just to stick to the subject of this video, I want to give you a tour and just talk about LM Studio real quick. It's extremely simple. It's sort of similar to Vortex. If you've ever played Skyrim VR or any type of Bethesda game or any other game where you're able to use mods and download mods and implement them into your game. So it's like a mod manager. I found the interface to be sort of similar and I just want to explain that to you real quick. So once you download it, the way to get it from this website here is lmstudio.ai. There's three different options. You can run any model file in one of the supported architectures converted to GGUF, work in LM Studios. GGUF is a file format and llama.cpp is the name of a software library that enables running large language models and consumer hardware. So in this case, it's the same with this language model. They got MPT, Starcoder, Replit, GPT, Neo X. So this is a great place that you can go to get language models for free entirely offline on your laptop. You can use models through the in-app chat UI. So you can set it up and it has the same interface as chat GPT. Discover new and noteworthy large language models in the app's homepage. So all you really gotta do is just download it. And once you do, just open it up and it's basically gonna look like this and you wanna search for your models from here. So if you're not sure where to start from here on this homepage, you can just scroll down and you have community suggestions here and, and recently released models. So they separated by different quantizations. On the right hand side, it'll give you some information on how big the file size is. And this is the language models. Now me personally, I ended up getting Mistral which is a pretty popular one and I got Q4. So if you see something in here that you like, you can go ahead and choose that, click on download and it'll automatically start downloading at the bottom. Now I already have one on my shadow PC, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I have Mistral and I ended up downloading that. I just typed it in. Basically, this is what it looks like when you type in Mistral. You have all these results come up and if you click on any one of them, this is basically just different versions. So if you click on any one of them, you have on the right hand side the different quantizations so you can download any one of these and what i really like about this software it actually judges whether or not they will work based off of your software specs so it's actually reading your computer now i'm using shadow pc some of these do have a lot of ram but all you gotta do is just select one of these on the left hand side on the right hand side you select which one out of that you want to pick so this one was uploaded 56 days ago and then over here you just choose the queue now, 2-bit is the lowest fidelity, extreme loss of quality, use is not recommended. If you click on this eye icon right here, it tells you considerable loss in quality. And the higher you go up, you have a medium quality loss, and which is recommended. So in this case, I would pick Q4 and then just download that and it gives you the file size here. And, and when you download it, all you got to do is just click on download. It'll come up down here. And as you can see, mine says finished. And in order to chat with it like ChatGPT, you gotta first turn it on. So once you have it downloaded, you go to the local inference server on the left-hand side here, basically what I was showing you earlier. Right here, if you, you can select your language model from the one you just downloaded. You select it and then you click on start server and you would just allow it to load up. And once it's done loading, 
Then on the left hand side, we're going to go over to where it says AI chat and we're going to communicate. I'm going to test out a couple of different prompts to just show you how easy this really is. So as you can see, it's on now about 4.38 gigabytes in RAM. So once you have yours downloaded, all you really have to do in order to communicate with it is go on the left hand side where it says AI chat. And this is where you basically can have a conversation with it, go back and forth. And I, you can give it a couple of different example props. I actually have some on my notepad here. On the left hand side, you have where it says new chat. You want to click on that and you can basically just title it whatever you want, just like with chat GPT. And on the right hand side is where you have the different configurations. So the preset that I'm using is Mistral Instruct. Presets are a collection of pre-made configuration files intended to be used with particular model types or for specific use cases. You can create presets from your current configuration and you can see how to do that from the model configurations. So you can click the drop down for more options, but I'm just going to stick with Mistral Instruct because that's the one that I got right here. But you can choose any one of these. And if you want more information about this, I'm just going to go ahead and give this an example prompt to just show you what this looks like. Now, this is a completely free, no coding involved offline language model that you can use at your convenience on a laptop or anywhere you go. Now, I have mine on a shadow PC, so let's go ahead and do a test. Give me 15 unique long tail keywords based off of the central seed key phrase, healthier habits. And as you can see, just like with chat GPT and online language models, you get similar results, just a bit slower and you can test all of the different models. They have a ton of them in there. They have different collections. So number one, healthier eating habits. Number two, exercise habits for weight loss. Number three, inspirational quotes about healthy living. Number four, habits to improve sleep quality, so forth and so on. You get the picture. So, so that's basically how you set up. I wanted to show you that and walk you through this process because I was curious on if I can actually connect this to Autogen so that I can use these agents and create my digital workforce and connect all of my different samurais, the health and fitness samurai, the cash alchemist, the dating and relationship samurai, the master chef samurai. I can have all of them in a digital workforce working together to accomplish the objective and we can do this a lot faster. And I was just wondering, because if I do that, I'm going to spend a lot more money if I use OpenAI's API key. So it's really cool that you can do that. And on a local server, all you have to do is just set openai.api underscore base Python or the base URL node.js property in your client configuration to HTTP forward slash forward slash local host colon one, two, three, four, forward slash V1. And I'll get into that in a different video. So that's pretty much it. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. And be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have LM Studio as well as Visual Studio Code, Python, as well as the GitHub page for Autogen because this is one out of four different videos that I'm creating. So I'm going to have all of this in the description. And with that said, I hope you enjoy. I will see you in the next video. See you then.